Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about our play games and today we're gonna be playing Super Mario Odyssey. Now in the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we got all of the moons that we could. Or not all the moons that we could, but all the moons that we needed to progress. We finished off a race, we got world peace in this kingdom. So in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the seaside kingdom, the next, the next kingdom we have. Now that the Odyssey's been powered up to 85 moons, I'm realizing how close we are to the kind of end of the series. Which is kind of weird to me. We can now head to the Seaside Kingdom. Let's chase down Bowser. Let's go! So while this is flying off, I'm just gonna talk about recently a collection and translation for the great Ace Attorney games, some Ace Attorney games that were only released in Japan. Those were announced today and are coming out in July. I forget which date exactly, I think it's just like late July. And so I'm excited and I think I'm gonna do an Ace Attorney Let's Play after this one. So my idea for the order of Let's Plays that I'm gonna do is Ace Attorney, Luigi's Mansion, Plants vs. Zombies, and then Pokemon Fire Red. Because I'm trying to, you know, finish all the unfinished Let's Plays that I have. So they're serving Frost Frosted Cake at the wedding, are they? Not if we serve them a defeat first. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, and he just talks about moves that we already know, like the ground pound jump. You just ground pound, and then you jump. I accidentally skipped over some dialogue, but it was basically just saying, it's covered in a lot of water. There's some sparkling water that's pretty cool. Not much that we really needed to know. Our first moon is the glass is half e empty. I don't know why I pronounced that weird. Not the best start to this kingdom, but let's go on anyway. What's on top of the fancy goblet? That is a squid or an octopus. I don't know how many arms it has. Look at Bowser's prince. They go all the way out here into the ocean. But anyways, off topic from that, we have this little weird guy. I forget what his name is. Probably said it and I just don't remember because I'm weird. Now we need to get up here. Because of Joy-Con drift being weird, I can't do a side flip properly. I'll just do a back flip. Just know I tried to do a side flip. Anyways, we got our first moon that leads to this button right here. The Stone Pillar Seal. It's still a story moon, yet it wasn't announced earlier. So that's basically just describing how this whole thing is gonna be. Basically, there's four buttons around and each of those unplugs this cork sort of thing here. And it shoots out at the octopus guy, or squid. I'll just call him... I still can't tell. Ah, wee wee. Uh, <laughs> that was so weird. It sounded like I was trying to sound French. I'll, I'll just read the line after the little thing there. Try all you want, I'll never surrender the delicious sparkle water. And he sets himself on fire. Mad now, three fountains left. Let's hop to it. Literally, because I'm Mario. If the water pressure was stronger, it could probably launch us. That's a good idea. So, that's basically the way that we're going to be going about this. We're just trying to make the water pressure stronger. And we're trying to, in general, just get the sparkle water back by attacking this guy with these corks. So that's basically just our goal here. Got a checkpoint right here that we can grab. Ah. Rolling Canyon. This is a neat little area. It's a bit cramped and you have to avoid these rolling spike balls. It kind of reminds me of, there's this mission in Mario 64, which is another game I'll be LPing in the future, by the way, where you have to, as the title says, watch for rolling rocks. Or, I think that's the name of the star. That might also just be it in the 64DS version. Either way, we got our next moon. The seal above the canyon. Yeah. 
got our next switch unlocked, or not really a switch, but a button of sorts. That's number two. Excellent work, just two fountains to go. Our next one is over here. It should be a pretty easy one. Okay, I'm back. I just had to help a family member with moving some stuff around. Let's see. So yeah, we were right here. We just need to capture this guy. Sorry if I'm a bit out of breath. But yeah, there's some molten lava over here and we can go ahead and... Yeah, just like Cappy suggests, we can spray some water on it. I'm gonna go ahead and get the checkpoint, by the way. Hot Spring Island. It certainly is hot. If we look up under here, it certainly is a spring. Hot springs are so nice and warm. Yeah, but there's lava on it. <laughs> Anyways, the hot spring seal. Now that we've unlocked that, that go ahead breaks open. My voice cracked there. But now that we've opened that up, we can ground pound this. Bonk him on the noggin. Just one more fountain to go. Let's get the last one. I don't know if we can really hear it yet, but I really like the music at this place. It's nice, calm, and relaxing. And we'll get to it in a little bit. I'll, when the end cards play where it's like, hey, click on this video or this video or whatever, I'll go ahead and have that time and let you listen to the music while the video's ending. I think that'll be nice. Okay, I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a weirdo because I didn't realize that I was supposed to go over here and said I was like, how am I supposed to enter this tower? And then I realized no, I gotta go through this little well, I guess is the best way to describe it. So we can capture this cheap cheap and we can move through here. And if you thought that the eel in Mario 64 was scary as a child, you'll certainly think these things are scary, no matter what age you are. These things are just... I do not enjoy them. They're the second weirdest thing. The second weirdest hyper-realistic thing in this game. Well, I, s I wouldn't say that the first thing was really hyper-realistic, it's just that it doesn't look like it's it goes along with the Mario style. You've got all of this woohoo, super fun stuff, and then you just turn the corner and it's the terrifying eel. So wrap right up at the lighthouse, we get our fourth power moon. The lighthouse seal. This might be a bit of a shorter episode. I don't know, because I was away for a small bit while I was helping my family member. I can't really judge how long the episode should be. But that's our fourth fork. Bonks him right on the noggin. I think we can identify that he's an octopus. Unless I was just seeing things, but I could have sworn there was eight legs there. So 
So what we have to do now is we have to capture one of these little things. I think they're called a gushin. Whatever they're called. We need to capture it. And bring it over to this guy. We fly right above his head. Pour water on it. We can help him cool off. I don't know why I uncaptured the gushin there. But we just follow him around. We're gonna go into the water again. We wanna get real close before we go up into the air. Thought I'd let you guys listen to the music for a bit. It's pretty good boss music. Not the best, but it's still pretty good. How did that not- Okay, listen. Okay, there we go. Gotta follow him around again. I think we can cut him off if we go this way, but his AI can be a bit unpredictable. So I'll just follow him. Oh, nope, he's going around. And I got hit. Let's follow him again. He's starting to shoot at us, so he's at a much slower rate. Come on. Since we're over here, I'll grab this checkpoint real quick. Okay. I don't know why that took me so long, but... That was so close. It gets higher pitched. The noise gets higher pitched every time you hit him. And I think that's it. Yep, we got him. And we got our first multi-moon. Probably the last multi-moon. I don't remember any other multi-moons. But whatever. We got the multi-moon. The one that we've been trying to get since we first got into this kingdom. We got... The glass is half full. Now, you might have noticed that that's a fun little thing that they do there. Where when you first enter, everything is gloom. Well, not really gloomy. It's still like a nice colorful place. But... Everything's in terror, and then it's called the glass is half empty, but once you actually fill up the cup and you defeat everything and everything looks wonderful, it's called the glass is half full. That's a nice little attention to detail there. So I think I could probably squeeze in one extra little section of us getting moons. I don't know why I just decide to describe it like that, but let's go get some moons, you know. And I'll just let you listen to the music while I'm going through this. There's our first moon. The music kind of cut off there. Shh, it's a shortcut. It's a nice little name for a moon. But yeah, the music here is really wonderful. The visuals are awesome. And yeah, it's just a an all-around nice kingdom to be in. Got one un here under the purple dory. I forget what this one's called. Mercy Dory. So there are, so I guess Dory isn't the name of the dinosaur itself, but th the species, I guess. I don't know why I said, why I said I guess twice, but 
go else. Oh, yeah, we have to be Mario real quick in order to answer the riddle of the Sphinx. Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What is the name of this land? Bublane. You are correct. Perhaps that wasn't much of a riddle. Anywho, proceed. And so we can go in here. I see a multi-moon in that crack there, but I forget how to do it, and I just know that I can get a multi-moon in here. So, we get an easy moon, and that's all we need to leave the kingdom. I don't know how long the video has gone on for, but I think this is a good place to end it off. We got all of the moons that we needed here, and we got a lot done. We got world peace, and... I can't wait to see what kingdom we go to next. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!